Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the another video of uh, this uh, series Ninja Developer. Okay, in this video we will talk about how we should approach our development, right? Everybody knows how to write the code but the only thing is how to approach and write the clean view of structure of your components of your folders or what kind of styling which you should adopt for your project styling means everything about your uh, projects how you are testing it how you are structuring your files and folders how you are putting the namings what particular uh, variable namings folder namings everything is inside this okay so uh, i mean every javascript uh, project here i'm talking only about javascript because this whole playlist circles around javascript we always have the package json right and in the last video we already talked about all these tools i will be just initializing this repository okay now i am on this repository what i will do is i already have node.js installed so i have npm already there right sorry for the typo i will just switch my node version and we have npm so what i will do is starting npm in it right i will just simply if i create this package json so this package json is there now this is required for any kind of javascript development right it will have a script author license dependency dev dependencies and all so we need to worry about what we are putting inside a dependency what we are putting inside a dev dependencies because lots of developers messed up with this thing and then they just put random versions random dependencies and all because you are a pro developer only if you know what you are including how the compatibility list is there let's say uh, you are installing some package which is not really compatible with other package because in javascript i mean uh, i spend most of the times on the github issues why because sometimes you install a package version of a library a of uh, x dot x and then you somehow install the latest version of library y which is not compatible with the library x and then you start getting the random errors and then somewhere on the github issues you say okay only this typescript version is compatible with this library and all and it's all gets get messed up that i agree everybody faces that uh, all these issues right so we need to be compatible and we need to be looking at the warnings when you install any particular package so let's say if i'm installing uh, express so let's say if i'm creating a node.js server express should be a dependency express i needs to bundle that in the the package in the service code and if if you are installing the typings like let's say i am also installing the typings for the node right so i don't need to install this as a dev dependency i don't need to install it as a dependency i will be installing that as a dev dependency so let's say types node right so what we what you do is so because it enables the the type script behavior in my project so i will be adding all my typings all my uh, dependencies which are related to the testing because those are not going to be bundled up in our source code we are not going to bundle our test cases in the in the final bundle which we are going to deploy right so all the dev dependencies will have all the dependencies which are dealing with the linting uh, prettier testing and all the types which we have in our project like types node types express types js type debug or because most of uh, common js modules which are like okay express node and all they don't come with the typings uh, enabled they have a separate module so that you so you need to install that separate separate module as a dev dependency to enable the typings and why we need typings we are writing typescript and if you are doing if you are importing that library and doing express app dot lation relation is not a method it will throw an error right because the because this compiler because in the uh, you are writing a typescript code which requires that each and every type is available for the compiler compiler already knows that app dot relation is a method which takes these arguments of these types otherwise there will be a compiler error showing the red symbol okay then you start adding okay i can see the 4000 dependencies obviously 
I need to add a git ignore right and if you don't know the git ignore uh, what it should contain copy it from some existing git ignore file right now I can see I have only three uh, files which I have changed so it will contain build dist all the DS uh, all the files which I wanted to ignore let's say the coverage coverage folder everything which is inside coverage test dot vs code whatever you want to exclude to be pushed to the github you will be adding that in the git ignore and these are primarily the folders which you want to exclude because on the github or any whenever you want to deploy this code what you need the only the source code and the core dependencies right so you will exclude all those things and node modules you are excluding because in the ci pipeline you will be adding these packages on the fly and then giving creating a package running the test cases and all those things will happen okay so you will adding the source code and source folder and then you will start adding the everything you need a source test and inside source code you will be creating your folder structures and all so that depends on what kind of applications you are building now we are living in 2023 and obviously we won't be doing these things okay manually creating packages and importing the dependencies and all because there are smart cli tools are available next cli react cli angular cli you name it all these auto generated tools are available i mean we are in the chat gpt world and we cannot just write these manually i mean if i spent half an hour in setting setting up my baseline code i'm just in i'm just wasting my time obviously i need to understand okay how this is done but now we are just using these uh, cli tools to automate these things i mean i will just do is the next cli install next cli globally how we do it is npm install minus z and your package name let's say i think it's nest cli what it will do is it will install the nest cli globally on the system and then i can use this nest command to generate a simple nest js project scaffolding which contains even the, the project structure the files test cases mock test cases already created and then i think now i can play with this command or oh, it's a uh, nest cli yeah it's nest cli and there is a command is generate new nest cli i always forget this command create new okay so i mean there is some command which will help you to create a simple nest js app okay similarly there is angular cli create react app create next app these are auto generated cli tools so we do we are not worried about okay how the setup will be done but we will understand it with the mono repo that say you have a front end and a back end app then how you can move the dependencies on the root because what happens is let me just get these get rid of these things or what i will do is i will just rename it to apps I will remove the node modules. Okay, JSON. We can still keep it. Package lock. I will just remove it. We are going to create a workspace. Okay, that workspace is like PNPM workspace, NPM workspace, or YARN workspace. Because in modern day, we don't build a just a front end, and we also build a back end. If you want to just create a Nest.js app, you can just go to the Nest CLI like this nestjs cli and it will give you the scaffolding and similarly there is angular cli that will give you a simple command you install it globally and then simply create ng new my first project in angular and these are standards because if you are trying to baseline your angular app baseline nestjs app baseline react app you are wasting time by exploring those things you can just use the cli tools because they are they are optimized whatever they have in the dependencies are the optimized and the best for yourself to build an application similarly there is an angular app similarly there is a create react app i hope you all are aware about all those things so you can include it i'm just talking about monorepo so that uh, we can have a multiple projects inside a one folder 
if you want to spin up on the individual express app there is a for express there is a express cli generator express generator i remember that was i was using it's ex, it will help you to just create a basic scaffolding for the express app similarly there is a nest cli to uh, it will create all these folders structures and then you can customize the routes and all those things based on your uh, demand okay how you want to build the application because uh, express is uh, like open to the world they can decide whatever they want nest yes is kind of opinionated it has its defined structures defined building blocks which you need to follow to build the application okay so how it will be different when we are using some monorepo and the workspace so i what i will do is there will be a root package json and then there is a small package json in every project so here i want to have a monorepo where i can keep only the application related project dependencies so let's say this is a react and this is nestjs project we are putting inside a workspace first of all let's talk about workspace i'm just using a pnpm workspace right so what you need to do is for pnpm workspace you just need to have a pnpm workspace yml right at the root of your project which looks something like this so i will just create a pnpm packages apps these are the two things i wanted to include inside a workspace uh, is this typo it's workspaces or workspace.yaml i always do the same mistake it's yaml now it looks correct and then you can have a package json okay and then you will so what is the advantage here if you are using the workspace you will just move all the common dependencies of all the projects which are related to the prettier eslint and jest husky all the common dependencies which you want uh, in your project like uh, we have a prettier we have a eslint husky uh, just a hook github hook which runs the eslint before you put a commit so all those tools what you do what you will do is you will put inside a root project means outside your workspaces so i will have this package json will be populated with all those uh, dependencies and then in these app applications i will be having create react app nestjs app angular app all those kind of applications only focusing on the dependencies which those kind of applications needs okay so we are going to use smart solutions in 2023 we are going to use monorepo and here we are using workspace so we can add a monorepo with nx nx is a monorepo which we can add now i need to switch to my node version is 16.18.0 and what i can do is pnpm install currently we don't have anything inside our packages or applications everything is empty we don't have anything so pnpm install will just see what is there in the package json it will just install these dev dependencies and dependencies at the root so it will just create a node modules and that will be done now it comes to how we create a baseline setup for pnpm and uh, monorepo right you need to have all the depend required dependencies you need to bootstrap bootstrap some of the applications so that we will do here we just need to get uh, on board all the required dependencies and dev dependencies which are not specific to any tools or technology these are some of the common dependencies i extracted out so that we can reference it we don't need to install those dependencies again your packages and applications can reference from the root because that is the use of this workspace we have added if you are confusing with the workspace and monorepo concept i would recommend you to check my playlist that is fine otherwise you can also uh, start creating these baseline projects and understand these concepts now now how can i help you to become a ninja developer here because everybody knows how the monorepo how to baseline a project but we need to write a smart script so that we can do the linting properly we can run the linting before uh, putting a commit we should be able to 
put a format a uh, nice view of commit get commits using commit gen commit cli and then we should have a prettier and ESLint setup so that all the the prettier runs when before you even add a new commit and then obviously after this we will talk about the github branching strategy either you use a gitlab bitbucket or github first of all we just baseline a simple project and then we'll see how what all different scripts we need to automate these things like build test and all because you build a project it's not done you until unless you don't deploy it so there is a ci cd involved for those you create a test npm run test npm run build npm run deploy all those scripts you need here so we will try to play with all those npm scripts in different applications before that let's add some required dependencies so let's do that uh, in the next uh, video